Hi, I'm Julie Johnson with Firebox Training. Today I'm going to show you how to create dimensions with hierarchies in your business model and mapping layer so when you create an analysis you can have hierarchical data in there. So for example we might want to display revenues by uh, total years and then by years then by you know quarters and so on or if we want to look at hierarchical product information such as you know we want to look by revenues by product type and then by product. Okay so the way we do this is we need to go to our BI admin tool. I'm just going to go ahead and log in online. So open online. I provide my repository password. Okay, and let's take a look at what we have so far. So I'm going to first of all focus on a hierarchy in our products environment. So here I have my products logical table. And in here, we can organize our products, first of all, by the brand. So the brand is something descriptive, such as, you know, FunPod or, you know, something like that. Um, and the brand key is the numeric identifier for the brand. The next level will be lob and lob key. Then the next level after that is type with the type key. And then finally, the last level is the product description with its key. So in here, if I right click on my products and say create logical dimension, it will create a default dimension with a hierarchy for me. I'm going to choose level based hierarchy and then check it out. And you'll see that the dimension that we have right here, it's only going to consist of two levels. We're going to have the grand total level and then we're going to have the detail level. So if I double click on this grand total level, let me just rename this to say products total. See how the grand total level is checked here and there's going to be only one element, which is everything rolled up, the sum. Okay, so now on the next layer here, if I double click on here, maybe I'll just call this product detail. And number of elements at this level. It's telling me 20. Where did it get that number from? Well, it got the number from this physical layer. You'll see that under the products table, which is what this is associated with, we have these different attributes and as I hover over them it tells us how many distinct values there are. So for the product description we had 20 rows. Now, if yours is showing up saying there's no totals or it's a total of zero, it just means that you haven't calculated the totals yet. You can do that by highlighting all of these, right click and say update row count. Okay. So once again, if you right click on one of your logical tables and say go ahead and create a dimension, it's going to create the default hierarchy that just consists of the grand total and then the uh, details. Now what if I want to have within this dimension another hierarchy? So for example I want to have the grand total and then the the brand, then the lob, then the type, then finally the product detail. We can have multiple hierarchies and it's a pretty easy rule to remember here. If we're going to have multiple hierarchies then they have to share the same uh, they have to share the same root level, which is the grand total, and they also have to share the same leaf node. In other words, the very last level needs to be product detail for both of them. So what I'm going to do here is highlight this product's total. I'm going to right click on it and let's just create a child level. Okay, so this child level will be brand. Number of elements, ooh, let's check. If I hover over brand here, it says three rows. So let me change this to three. Now we need to tell it the keys. Okay, so here I'm just going to say brand key and then I select the existing column from this dropdown. It's right there. Now it will show up in the dropdown. As far as the display value goes, we'll just call this brand and put a check mark right there. Now it's brand that we want to have as the display value. If we check brand key as the display value, then it'll just give us the ugly numeric key and it doesn't really 
make any sense to the end user. Okay, next, what I'm going to do is right click on brand. Let's create a child level. This one is going to be called lob. Number of rows, six rows. Once again, keys. Lob key. And here, I'm going to have lob. And lob is what's going to be used as the display. Next level. Product type. The number of elements there is 11. Prod type key. Whoops. There we go. Type key right there. And then we'll call this product type. Let's use for display. And then finally, the last level is going to be the product detail. And since product detail needs to be in common with both of these hierarchies, instead of just saying child level, I don't do that. I need to say shared level as child. Okay. So it's this that we're using right here. I'll hit OK. And now we have it. Okay, now there's one more thing that I need to do. And that is, for each one of these levels, with exception to the grand total, each one of these levels has to have at least one attribute that's associated with it. So here for the brand, it would make sense to have brand and brand key be in there. Let me take my lob and lob key, product type and type key goes up here. And then for all the other levels, uh, if we don't explicitly state that level, it will appear under product detail. Okay. So if I want to get rid of some of these in here, I can. Let me just do this first, though. I'm going to take my dimension right here, and I'm going to drag it onto my products so it's available in my presentation layer. So now look at our two hierarchies. We have products total, brand, lob, product type, product detail, and then we have just these two levels, total, detail. I'm going to save what I have so far. No errors, that's good. I have a few warnings. I can safely ignore them for right now. Uh, it's just talking about uh, how we have logical dimension tables, has a source that does not join to any fact source. Well, I know that it does. I already checked the diagram. Okay, so now we're good there. I'm going to now go to this environment. I'm going to create a new analysis. Let's take a look at our products. Is it in there yet? No, it's not. I need to go in here and reload the server metadata and then refresh the display. And now you see that these appear in here. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag this onto here and let's take a look at our results. I have products total. See how I have hierarchical information in here? Now, here I have a couple measures like revenue and units. Let me add revenue in here and see we have the revenues for all of these different levels. Okay, so we've successfully created a parent-child hierarchy. Well, I hope you got a lot out of this video tutorial. Please subscribe now to our YouTube channel 
and visit our website at www.fireboxtraining.com.